welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am said Psychic Medium Tony Green. So I did two clearings on TikTok today, and uh, one of them is Vows of Poverty. Yes. So you might want to go over there and listen to that after the show. And it's not only any vows of poverty that you have taken in this life, any other life, but through your lineage and ancestor, ancestral vows of poverty. Yes. Okay. So welcome to the show, everybody. We are going to get started. If you would like to be part of the show, if you'd like to call in, and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side. The number is 845-277-9131, 845-277-9131. Um, or you can join in on YouTube and ask questions there. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Um, oh, by the way, I will never, ever reach out to anyone and ask them, you know, it, tell them they need a reading or to to any of that stuff. I just, I don't do that. Um, if somebody does that, you're probably being scammed. So don't participate in the scamming. Report them and then block them. Okay, so now we can get started. The first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start but with names, if I say a name and it is either your name or a loved one's name, it's for you. The first name I'm hearing is Cindy or Cindy Lou, like Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> um, the second name I'm hearing is Leah, Leopold, and then uh, Jeffrey, Margaret. And then I'm hearing the name um, James. I don't know who thinks this funny is, but Geronimo. And then, um, and maybe that is somebody's really, really their name or what you called them. It could be Lisa and then Marie and Michael, Giuseppe. Two more names, guys. I already said that name. Um, who else is here? L Linda and Liza. Okay. Now I'm going to do songs. And the songs could be a question that you have. They could be answering a question that you have. It could be a song that you love, they loved, or just it makes you think of them. Okay. The first song is... Um, can't stand the rain on my window. I think that's how the song goes. And then the next song is um, <clears throat> this song is so hard for me to sing and I've done it before and I just I can't even with a straight face. <laughs> oh, wow. It's down with the sickness, okay? Uh, there's a heavy metal fan here today because then the next song is Let the bodies hit the floor, let the bodies hit the floor, let the bodies hit the floor. Okay, so those two songs are out of the way. Can we move on? We can. We definitely can. Anything by Ariel and or Foreigner those two groups. So if you knew somebody who was a huge fan of ARIO and or Foreigner, that is for you. And then what's the next song or group? And then I hear Lawrence Welk again. So somebody's joining us who is a big Lawrence Welk fan or you knew they were a big Lawrence Welk fan. Um, and then it's either Jerry Lewis or Jerry Lee Lewis would make you re remind you or make you think of this person. And then um, somebody, okay, so this is new. Somebody was a smoker. <laughs> and then they're singing the song, I'm a smoker, I'm a something, I'm a midnight toker. 
What is that song? Um, I can hear the words, but I can't sing them. Um, <laughs> okay, we're just going to let that go. And then, um, and somebody on the other side is saying, take the dog out, take the dog out. So now they're just giving me straight up sentences for you guys or statements for you guys. Um, and then somebody else is saying, um, somebody else is saying, um, somebody's like yelling from, a couch, they're yelling, can you make me a sandwich? Can you make me a sandwich? So if these messages were something that your loved one did and or said, or songs that you listen to, they listen to, um, then I hear the song, you're the one I want to give all my love to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That song is coming through. So, okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Um, if they, the names, the songs, or and or the the statements are for you they're for you okay and it would be difficult to not know that they're for you um with some of these make me a sandwich <laughs> it just cracks me up and then somebody is showing me um every sunday morning like a big breakfast big breakfast sundays so if like your mom or somebody did a big breakfast every Sunday, that's that's for you. Um, and then I'm hearing that song. Tell her I love her. Tell her I miss my baby. Ooh, won't you tell her? And that's it. We're done with songs. Okay, if you do have a question, one specific question that you would like to ask, you can call in 845-277-9131, and I will be happy to answer that question. If you would like to connect with a loved one on the other side, same number, 845-277-9131. I'll be happy to help you connect with a loved one on the other side. If you are on YouTube watching me, thank you. And you want to ask a question, go ahead and put it into the chat. I will get to it as soon as I can. If you are on, uh, if you have called in, if you call in or you have called in, please hit the one to let me know that you have a question. Otherwise, the hand doesn't go up in the call and I don't know you have a question. So um, I'm going to go back and forth between questions on the call log and questions in the YouTube chat. So if you have a question, just put it in. So Elijah, put in your question. Nancy, hey, how are you? I want to say hi to uh, Cher Bear, Nancy, Elijah, um, Heather, Maris. Um, I And what I'm going to do right now, so many people are getting like a little, they're getting sick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a clearing for anybody who's sick. And I'm going to do a clearing that our cells all heal, all of our cells heal. And I'm going to do a clearing that um, for stress, like if we're under any stress at all, that all the stress clears, heals, releases. And all for all of these clearings, all that caused it and kept it. We're going to heal, clear, release that. So if you're listening, watching, this is going to help you also. Okay, I'm going to start with a call and then I'm going to come back to the chat. So please, everybody be patient. I will get to you as soon as I can. And remember to put your hand up or press that one so I know you have a question. 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Lisa Marie and I'm calling from Connecticut. Hey, Lisa, how can I help you? Hi, I was hoping that you could connect with either of my parents, the message for me. Okay, what is what is uh, their name? First name only, first name Bob only. Bob and Joanne. Bob and Joanne? Bob and Joanne. Oh my gosh, you're not going to even believe this, but you probably will. I have an Uncle Bob and an Aunt Joanne, and they were married. And but they're both on the other side now. So that is crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna take that out of my head. What are the coincidences that two different Bob and Joanne 
you know, as a, whatever. Okay, let me get on with the show. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, okay. So we are going to, so I see a man who at one point had a little bit of a tummy. Okay. So, and I, I believe that they're here. And do you, I'm going to ask you, Lisa Marie, do you have a specific question that you would like to start with for them? Um, if they could comment on my life situation about my son not being in it, that might be helpful if they could tell me when that would happen. Okay. So or anything the, else they want to say. Yeah, just, absolutely. So the you. first thing that I hear about your son is it's complicated and it's, um, I'm going to use the word very sad. That's not the word they used. Um, they they use the word like devastating, but that sounds too dramatic to me. So I'm going to just, they think it's very sad. Um, can I please ask your son's age? Uh, 39. Okay. You do not sound like you have a 39-year-old son, and that is just a fact. That is a fact. You don't even sound I'm like you are 39. Before. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Before. Oh my gosh! Okay, I have my my mother. Yeah, that's that's pure craziness. Okay, that's a you have a beautiful young voice. Okay, so I'm going to um, here we go. So your son, your son's situation is very complicated. He's making choices he should not be making, which you are aware of. He has made some decisions that have put him in a place that have not panned out well for him. Okay. Um, yeah. And he is going to continue to make these uh, choices until, I'm sorry, you said he was 34, correct? 39. 39, thank you. Okay, so then uh, the, the reason I asked that is because I heard the age 36, which tells me that at the age of 36, something happened, and I hear the word escalated. It, it escalated for him. Now, given the fact that things continue to go the way they, they are, um, at 41, 42, and I feel like it's more 42, he's going to have to make a choice for... Um, you know, I'm trying to be really the way I say this. I'm just trying to make it not to. The way I would say it is not put all your oh, business. Oh, it's pretty catastrophic. It's catastrophic. Any words you use couldn't even match what has happened, honestly. Okay. At, at 40, if he doesn't. The way I'm hearing it and how this might be meant might be two different things but if he doesn't make some changes um by 41 he'll be forced to okay but if he still doesn't choose to make changes then it's going to be very not a good outcome is the way that i'm going to leave that right there okay um they want you to know there's nothing you can do there's, there's absolutely, unfortunately for you uh, and for him and everybody else involved, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say. He is a full grown man who is making decisions that are not in his or anybody else's best interest. And all you can do, it, it's like if a car is getting into an accident, you can't stop the car. You, you know, there's no way you can like stand in front of the car and stop it from getting into that crash. It's going to crash, even if you scream. And that's kind of what they're showing is nothing can stop this except for him. And he's not willing to do that now. So at um, if by and I need to say this in a in a very specific way, if by the age of 41, he doesn't make lifestyle changes, if he doesn't change some things within his life by 42, it's it's not a very good outcome. Now, they've said that exactly the same way twice. What I am going to tell you 
is the power of prayer can be possible powerful so you can use that but it's almost better and i i know you don't feel this way it's almost better that he's not talking with you right now because you would be one of his casualties okay you can't help him you can't stop him you would just end up being a, a almost like i hate to say it this way but a victim of his okay and you don't want that you i i know yeah and no, they I get it no i know tony really they're they're actually keeping him away from you Sometimes they separate us from people not because of anything we've done but because of what they will do if they're in our presence. And your presence can't first of all it would tear you apart but second it would it, you would then become devastated and we just can't have that. That's what they're saying. We cannot have that. These are lessons he needs to learn. You've already learned them and that's it. That's just it. They love you. You can love him from a distance. Uh, don't take on anything that, the, you know, I say this to a lot of people and I'm going to say it to you, but I mean it to anyone going through any situation right now. And there's no truer statement. Do not take responsibility for other people's bad choices or bad behaviors. It, you are not responsible for the choices that people make in their life, good, bad, or indifferent. You don't take credit if they go make a million dollars. So don't take responsibility if they do this or make a bad choice, okay? So they want you to know to just gracefully and graciously allow God to handle this and then to move forward in the best way that you can. And, you know, sometimes... We just have to, at the end of the night, when we're going to sleep, we just have to say, God, I'm I'm just giving this to you because I know, or creator, whatever people say, um, I'm giving this to you because I know I don't have the ability or the power to change this. So I'm giving it to you so you can. And that's all you can do at this point. Okay, love? It's, it's this 42 is in an illness or does this mean he's going to end up killing himself because he's like 500 pounds yeah i can't i can't say that if he if he makes it okay. to 42 um and like i said there's there's some something if he doesn't make some lifestyle changes by 41 it it's not going to be good at 42 i don't remember how i exactly said that i'm not allowed to say that, okay. especially not on air, but what I will okay. I tell you, if it goes that long, if it does, um, it doesn't look good. But but you already know, but you already know that, right? But you already know I, that. I saw a picture of him, and I I saw a picture of him, and I haven't met a doctor right now. Yeah, and and all you can do is you know just give it up and do do. Do the best you can to do the best you can. Okay, love? Thank you so much, Tony. God bless you. You too, love. And I'm so, so I'm so, so sorry for what you're going through. And I, and I know everybody will be praying for you. Well, and, and, and so will I. And so will I. Okay, love? Oh, Tony, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much, love. God bless you. Thank you. you. And God bless you, love. I'm going to come. I'm going to come to the YouTube chat. I'm going to read a question. Hopefully, I'll be able to see it and understand it. You can laugh at me, guys. It's okay. Please, can you tell me if there's any love, loved one that I want to that wants to connect with me? Elijah, can you please? Um, there are the way I like to connect with loved ones. Please just give me their first name and their relationship to you, Elijah. And what do I need to do? Yep, just Elijah, just give me their first name and loved one. And Elijah left one more message. So it might even have the first name. Um, is there a loved one that uh, wants to tell me how to connect with them or a message? Uh, Elijah wants to, Alan Joshua, Uncle Alan. Okay. Or Uncle 
Uncle Alan dot Joshua. Okay. Okay, Elijah, this is a very serious energy and it actually like pulls my back very straight to sit up very tall and very straight. <laughs> so um I'm gonna I'm only gonna I connect with one person. I well I'll connect with both of them, Alan and Sheena, your aunt Sheena. Sheena and Alan. Okay, so the first one is Alan, and I'm very, I'm very straight. And Elijah, please um, confirm the energy is a little bit more serious with your uncle, like a very serious, strong energy that's coming in. And I feel like your uncle was a very hard worker, but a very serious person. And the message that I'm getting, Elijah, is it's time for you to get very serious about your life, whatever you're doing. You have to get more serious about your life. You have to, um, the way that it's being said and the way that I'm going to say, I'm going to say it exactly how it's being said. And then I'm going to kind of try to explain it. Stop worrying so much about everybody else and get your poop in a group. And they did not use the word poop, but get yourself together. Get yourself in that space. Collect, collect, collect it. Uh, you have to get very serious, and I'm pointing my left hand, I'm right-handed. Um, you have to get very serious about your life now because you have this window of opportunity coming in um, where you can make leaps and bounds. So, for example, if you wanted to start a business, if you wanted to do um, a, move up in a career or schooling or wherever, whatever you're doing, now is the time, but you have to take out all the distractions. So Elijah, what I'm going to say is if you have a lot of people that are, and at some points in our life, we have people that are pulling, pulling on us. Can you help me here? Can you help me there? Can you give me this? Can you do this? You, you have to take a break and you have to just focus on you right now, Elijah, so that you can move ahead and you can create a stronger life for you. Um, one of the messages I'm I'm hearing is you can't keep giving out like um, like can I get can I can I can I get can I get can I get and then you're left with nothing until people start to give back or till you until you bring more in. You have to be a little bit about yourself right now. Even if other people think you're being greedy or selfish, that's not your problem, Elijah. You have to start stacking your money, right? You have to start saving and stacking because you have a goal. There's something that you want to accomplish and you're not going to be able to accomplish it if you keep giving to everybody. And so what you need to do, Elijah, is to keep it, build your own pockets, build your own piles, and then build your business, whatever that business, whatever, um, and I say business, but it could just be like something you're doing out of your home, okay? So, and you, thank you. He said, Elijah says, wow, you're so right. Thank you so much. And and thank you for the comfort confirmation. I really appreciate it, especially since you're on YouTube and people can't hear your response. It's, it's really, gr I'm grateful that you put that there and help me to keep getting the message. You have to build your own pockets. You have to build your own stacks of, of money in this case, and you have to start your venture because nobody's going to care about you and what you want because people, it, just in general, it's not because they don't care about you, but they just care what they need. And you just have to say, this is my favorite statement. Oh my goodness, I wish I could, but I can't. I don't have it. And you don't have it because you need to, you need to pile, you need to let the, I'm hearing this on, and let the money pile up. You need to do that because whatever it is that you want to start, that that home business, that business, I don't care what that business is. You have this window of opportunity right now that that if you don't start saving now, that window is going to close and you want it to open further. OK, do, and listen to me, Elijah, listen. 
because right now I'm the boss of you. No, your uncle and your auntie are. Okay. Listen, do not anybody your plan, the business, or what you're doing with your money or your goals, because that does not fit their agenda. And if they know you're saving money for your dreams, they're going to want, play down your dream, play down your business, play down what you are trying to build up. They're going to play it down in your mind and in your heart so that you're not so strong to do it. Because they want your pockets. They want, what's, they want what's in your pockets. So now it's your responsibility to yourself to create a better life for you. And then once you get this going, you if you choose, you can help people out. But you get yourself so solid. You get your business so solid. You get there and you get so solid that nobody can say anything about it. But Elijah, again, again, Elijah, don't say I can't because I'm saving money for this because the first thing they're going to do is go, yeah, that's not going to work because of what they want, because they have a want and you're not filling it. So they're going to, they're going to bash you, your, your dream. They're going to try to take down your dream so they can have their little so they can have your money but whatever that's not that's not your problem you keep your money silent you keep it on on silent you keep your dream on silent you keep your business plan on silent and you work behind the scenes and when it's done and you're up and running then you keep building it and you don't give away right away you don't let these people come don't let people eat for free at your restaurant don't let them take supplies for free from your your whatever it is, you build it. And I, this is a statement I have. And I live by this. I live so strong on this. My friends and family don't come and get free work. They pay double to support me because they love me and they want to see me succeed. They don't come and try to get free. So if I had a restaurant, my friends and family would come in, they would buy their food, and they would tip so big, and they would pay double because they want to help me build, not take me down and take from me. And anybody who is not doing that, they are not on your team. And you, you don't want people who are not on your team. OK, so you have this window, Elijah. Climb the F through it and don't stop until you get through every door to where you want your your thing that you want to do until it's exactly where you want it to be. Don't you stop. Don't you tell nobody and don't you let anybody eat off you for free. Don't you dare. I don't care what kind of business anybody owns. I don't give up happy, hairy butthole, what kind of business you own. Those who care about you, who are your friends and family, they will pay, they will pay triple because they want you, your pockets to be full and you to succeed. There's a, a, a girl that opened a business next to mine in my office and her grand opening was all her friends and family and they showed up with money and they pinned it all over her body and put it in a jar for her first six months of business. If they don't do that, I'm not saying they don't care about you. Maybe they don't have that, but they don't get it for free. They don't take from you. Okay. 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 Elijah, live on that. Everybody listening, live on that. Live on it. Sleep on that. Say that to yourself as you go to bed at night. And when you're new, you don't have to give your work away. Because you're new or you're just starting. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. 
Mm -mm. You, you honor the work. You honor your product. Okay? Okay. Elijah, I hope that was helpful. Wow. <laughs> that was kind of like a little bit of a rant. Hey, Michael. Hi, Michelle. Um, I'm going to get to the questions. I'm going back and forth between the call log and the questions online. I have to remember, um, I, I skipped quite a far ahead for it to, to catch to Elijah. So now I have to go back a little bit, but I'm going to take a call next of 330. And if you would like to call in 845-277-9131, you can ask a question, connect with a loved one. I'd be happy to do that for you. Okay. 330, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Michelle and I'm calling from Ohio. Excellent, Michelle. So I yeah. had I had a dream about a week and a half ago where a lot of my deceased loved ones were there. Some I were I was close to, some I was not. But it was unsettling yet comforting in the same way. But the one person that stuck out to me the most was my Aunt Rose. And I was wondering if she had a message for me. Okay, so first about first of all, about the dream when you said it was unsettling, I heard that song. Don't fear the reaper. Da -na, na -na -na. I'm sorry if that's inappropriate, but it's funny as fudge. I'm just saying it's funny. And if you don't know that song, it's okay. And if you do know that song, you probably don't recognize it the way I'm saying it. But okay, your Aunt Rose, you want to know if your Aunt Rose has a message for you, right? This A specific thing she was trying to tell. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the first thing she says is, we're all here. You have the dream about th them, and they were coming through in your dream state because you probably would not see them all in your awake state. And she's saying, we are all here. She was the spokesperson of the moment saying, we are all here. We are all always with you. Does that make, does that make sense, love? Yes. Okay. That's all she wanted to say. And that, oh, sorry, not cutting out yet. Somebody just like yelled in this voice. And that we love her. <laughs> so, and that they love you. Aww. And that they, they are always with you and that they love you. <laughs> and they want you to know that um, in your in your moments where things might seem tumultuous or like it's a little bit more difficult or lonely, you're never alone. Nobody's ever alone. And they're always with you and they're helping you through and to ask them for signs. Ask them, say, show me, like, if, if you have a specific question about something you're struggling through, say, give me a sign of how to handle this, okay? And they will, and they absolutely will, okay, beautiful? And they want you to know that they'll, they'll show you within 24 hours, you just have to kind of pay attention, okay, love? Okay. Okay, Michelle, thank you so much I for did, calling. It didn't happen mention anything about my health though um no and you know i have to be really really careful i'm gonna say this for you and everybody else youtube which is how i record my tv shows um and send them out to all the like wscs all the tv stations and streaming stations and podcast stations youtube has um decided that if we say anything against what they believe is medically correct, that they'll give us a warning. And if we get three warnings, um, they'll take our show down. So I'm kind of online while I'm recording, not talking about medical things because of that. Um, so... What I can say to you, uh, I I can't I can't I can, um because of that I'm sorry I can't answer that part of your question because if we mention um, and I've had a couple of friends that have YouTube shows Peter G, um, one of his callers said something 
And they gave him his first strike and took that specific show down and won't let it air. So I'm trying to be really uh, careful and to play by YouTube's rules. So, but you can ask about okay. love. You can ask about almost anything else, I guess. So, okay, love? All right, thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. And I just, I do want to say for everybody listening, I am a very alternative, natural girl. And that does not fit with the YouTube standards at all. Not a bit. So I will be punished <laughs> right away if I say anything. <laughs> they will spank my little booty and not in a good way. Okay, I am going to go to the next um The next question on YouTube, and it's from Nancy. And remember, if you want to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Or you can post your question in the YouTube chat. Nancy wants to know, hi, Tony, do you see me moving out of state in the near future? Near future, no. It depends on what, Nancy, what do you consider the near future? I feel like it's going to take you a little bit longer to get out of state than you are originally originally thinking, okay? So if you're thinking, I don't know what your time frame is, but I'm hearing no on near future, further out future, 100%, absolutely yes. I think if you're trying to do it within like a whatever time frame that it, there's, it's going to be, um, I just hear the word like prohi prohibitive, pro prohibit prohibited is the word, the word of the day, prohibited. Okay, uh, I hope that helps, Nancy, I and thank you so much for your question. Uh, my next person, I'm going to move my chat up a little bit to try and I'm going to try to get to everybody. So please be patient with me today. The show is an hour long for one hour. I sit and I will take answer as many questions or connect to as many loved ones as I can. Uh, let's go to uh, 111. Where, what's your name and where are you calling from? Okay. Let's go to 561. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hi. Tony? Yes. Hello? Hello. Hello, Tony? Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. What's um, your name? Where are you my calling? Name is Stacy calling from Florida. Hello, can you hear me? My name is Stacy. I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Stacy. There's a couple of guys that, yeah, there's a couple of guys that I'm interested in. I wonder which one is interested in me. Um, can I give an initial or, you uh, know, a description you can of do, them? You can or, just do their first names, um, and I'll tell you which one you have the best potential with. Okay, Eric. And the other one is Ronnie. And um, yeah. Okay, Eric is a definite no. Even if he's interested in you, you just need to stay away from that mess, is what I'm hearing. He's not he's not put together too well. Even if he even if he shows up like he's put together well, he's not put together well. There's something really not yeah. co kosher or good about him. I don't know if it's mental illness. I'm not diagnosing anybody. It's just something with him that's, yeah, just stay away from Eric. The next name was Ronnie. Is that accurate? Yeah. He's uh, blonde. He's, yeah, he's blonde hair. Okay. He's okay. Um, here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, and, and this is uh, for what it's worth. For what it's worth. If you wait three months, someone's going to come in and you're going to know they're interested in you because they're going to try to pursue you if you know in yeah 
I'm just going to leave that at that. In three months, which will put us at what we're in October, November, December, January, the new year, um, someone's going to um, come in and they're going to be very interested in you. And it's going to be a much better fit. And don't chase boys. Let a man attain you. Let me repeat that, Stacy. Yeah. Don't chase. Yeah, Eric. Uh, Eric is younger than Ronnie. Yeah. I'm not even talking about an age thing. Don't chase boys. Let a man pursue you. Meaning, you know, when we start trying to get a man or, you know, pursue the man or let them know we like them. Listen, when a man likes a woman or he's interested, he will let you know. He will pursue you. He will ask you. Men are not shy. Okay. They are not shy. They will let you know they want you. Now in three months, somebody's coming in and this person will be very interested in you and will pursue you. So please wait for that time. Let let whatever boys are around you, let them go. And in three months, um, when this man comes in and is uh, pursuing you, that's the right person, okay? And I do feel like his he, he might have an initial that's a D. So just pay attention to that also, okay? He may have what? He may have what? An initial that is a D. Now, if somebody comes in and they're pursuing you and they don't have a name that starts with a D, don't worry about it. But if they do, that's a sign it's the right person. Okay, love? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, the guy has to pursue the woman. You're right. Yeah. In order for it to work. It, that's, that's the only way. Guy, you know... Um, yeah, main, mainly because I don't think, you know, it's awkward because I met them through work. That's why. Yeah, and, <laughs> You know what I mean? And I'm going to tell you, that's another thing. Do not get involved with work situations because at the end of the day, you have to continue to work there. At the end of the day, if things, if you, whatever with these people, it, and it doesn't work out, you that's your bread and butter that's how you pay your bills so don't don't do that um and remember if a guy genuinely is looking for something genuine long term with you you're going to know because he's going to let you know you'll have no question in your mind about that okay um and that's that's what i have for you love i hope that that is helpful I'm going to go to the next question. Um, uh, Maris wants to know, do you see me driving for the same truck company or changing companies? I do lots of mountain driving, which means lots of snow soon. Um, I'm hearing Maris, Maris or Maris. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's completely up to you. If you, they're not going to get rid of you, but if you do want something new and you look, you'll find something fairly quickly, like in about a month's time. But if you want to stay where you are, you're going to be just fine and they they will keep you there. OK, I hope that's helpful for you. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is nine five four nine five four. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Mary, and I'm calling from Florida. Mary, how can I help you today? Well, I'm wondering if you see any improvement in a home situation right now that I'm going through. Oh, not any time. Not, not in the near future, love. Um, it's going, I, you know, it depends on, again, on what you feel in near future is. I feel like in a month and a half, there's going to be a change in the home situation. And I, get, I don't know if you're going to like the change, but it's there will be a change in a month and a half. That's what I'm hearing right now. 
Is this regarding a move or a change in person or how is this going to affect? Okay, this is what I'm going to, you're being vague and I want you to just ask me one specific question. I will give you that answer. Um, I usually don't let people ask more than one question, but let's get to it. Ask me very specifically what you want to know here. Okay, love? Okay, if I'm going to remain in my present uh, home and um, will I still be here with the same person or on my own? Or okay, I... That? I, when you said, am I going to remain in my present home? I heard no. I feel like now you have free will. You have choice. You can make a decision that you can try to make this work. Okay. I don't, I don't, what I'm hearing right now, as of this moment, as of this moment, and again, you uh -huh. have free will and choice. When you ask, am I going to remain in my home? No. You're going to be the one, you you may be the one that decides to leave just to make things better or easier. Okay, love? I see. Mm -hmm. it sounds like it would be a difficult transition. Then. Okay, now I am going to say this. If you really if you want to stay, okay, let's say you just, you want to stay and you don't want to go, you have to be so strong in that and, and you have to make sure that the other person knows that and you have to be prepared to bring in whomever else you're going to bring in, but you're going to have to take all of those steps. What's going on right now is a waiting game like where you two are kind of trying to wait out the other person and no, nobody's really okay. talking about what's going to happen or how it's going to happen. So what they're okay. saying is have that conversation, even if you need to write it out and hand it to them and let them write it out and hand it back. This is what write out. This is what works for me. What works for you? And they get to write back what works for you. So, okay, can we come up with a compromise? If you're not having healthy communication, just put pen to paper or email, however you need to do it, and do it that way. But just uh, both of you just sitting and waiting to see who's going to make the first move isn't going to work. And then you'll end up making the first move because you'll be a little bit like tired of waiting it out. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. I'm really okay. Thank you, Tony. You're so welcome. I'm, I'm so sorry about the situation that you're in. I'm so sorry that that that's where you are right now. I'm really sorry. But yeah. make sure that wherever you go next, you really plan it out. Take your time and plan it out. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of thinking about it. It's, there's not too many options, so. No, and that's why they're saying really, you know, try to have the convert. Can I can I ask your age, love? I'm seventy. Okay. And 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 you live in Florida, correct? Correct. Okay. Where the rents have escalated outrageously. Yes, I I am aware there you may have to move a little further away and get on a waiting list but I I do believe in Florida there are a lot of rent controlled senior type places. Okay. Um so you might I'm I'm aware of them. Yeah, they're not that great. So I've been researching well, um, you know, this is one of those things that they call the lesser of two evils. If you can tolerate yeah. where you are and you can come to a civil living agreement, great. But that's mm -hmm. that's where it is. That's pretty much where it is. Okay, love? Okay. 
Okay, Tony, thank you for your input. I appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. You are so welcome, and I wish you the best, sweetie. I really do. Okay, I am going to go to Jira, Jira, Jira. Um, O'Brien. I'm just going to say the last name O'Brien because I can pronounce that. I need a clearing from my allergies. Don't we all? Okay, I'll do my best. Um, I never even thought of that. So thank you so much. Um, all allergies, all that cause it, all that kept keeps it has been cleared. I get a no. Let's clear it. All of our symptoms have been heal healed, cleared, and released. I get a no. Let's clear that. Oh. That's really hitting me in my sternum. Let me know how that feels for you. Okay, I am going to go to 631. 631, what's your name and where are you calling from? Long Island. Okay, and your first name? Suzanne. Suzanne, how can I help you today? Oh, I just moved to Florida about seven weeks ago. I talked to you when I was in New York, um, talking to a couple of men on the phone. Do you see any relationships? And um, I'm looking for my own apartment. I have faith. My parents are helping me look for one right where they live. And what do you see with all this? I'm having faith with both things. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. And I... I allow one question and that's like a full reading about everything going on in your life. I will answer the first question and I'm not sure that I, I, I'm even sure where you live because when I said, where do you live? You said Long Island and then you said you moved to Florida. So I'm going to go with Florida. Okay. And I'm going to go with the first thing that you asked. And the first thing that you asked was about relationship. Now, if you do want the answers, to the rest of your questions, which are very valid, good questions, you can schedule a private session, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. I'll be happy to help you with the rest of it, okay? Um, as far as relationships, I feel like it's going to be, you're going to meet somebody in a month and a half, and then you're going to meet somebody else in six months. The person in six months is going to be a much better fit. The person in a month and a half they're kind of like a in and out. Um, they're going to tell you. Um, I hear that Paula Abdul song. He's a cold hearted snake. And that's the only part of the song they are playing. So don't the person you meet in approximately a month and a half. Don't get too invested in that person. Um, the sooner you let that go, the better it's going to be for you. But in about six months, you're going to meet somebody and there is much more potential with that situation. I'm not confident yet to say that that's your ever after person, but I am confident to say that the month and a half person shouldn't even get a, a second cup of coffee. That's all. That's how I'm going to say that. Um, but you won't know it because the the person in a month and a half, in the beginning, they come off. Um, oh, God, they're just so sleazy. Oh, God. This, this person in a month and a half just has the most pukey energy. I'm sorry, but they are sleazy. But you won't know it right away. You won't know. Um, they're going to be, you're going to think they're a really good guy. You're going to think, I don't know what I'm talking about until you realize, oh my God, this guy's such a piece of work. Um, he's very cunning. He's almost like one of those guys who tries to find women to take care of him with at first he comes out and he makes it seem like, Oh no, 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 no. Let me get this. No, 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 no. I wouldn't think of having you pay for this. And then on the, like, before you know it, he's for lost his wallet or, or you, you could put the gas in my car, right? You, you could pay for this this time, right? No, bitch. no, no, 
no biatch no no you put gas in your car my friend um i just feel like he's very snaky he's just so sleazy and snaky so i just know that but he is good he's a very good looking man so if if that's a if that's a fair trade off for you not to me not to me i don't care how cute you are I do not want a snake mm -mm. because you know what snakes do. They wrap themselves around you and they slowly suffocate you so they can eat you. Yes. No snakes. No, no. Eh, eh. Okay. Let's go to the next question online. Michelle. Hi, Tony. What do you see for my current relationship future? Michelle, are you with somebody right now? I hear no. Is Michelle with somebody right now? I get a no on that, Michelle. I'm going to scroll all the way down to see if um, if you are with anybody right now. Um, hey, Nancy. Hi, Christine. Oh, she is with somebody. Um, are you guys on and off? Answer that for me. Hi, Christine. Hi, Ethereal, Ethereal Tarot. Um, okay, the per... Uh, okay, so... Michelle, this is what I'm going to say. Uh, you're not on and off. There's something about this energy that I, what's his first name? Because I'm not even picking, I'm not feeling this person in your energy. So I don't know if you seem like, you know, you carry yourself like you're single or how long you two have been together. Jesse, I'm, I, okay. What's the future of this? And maybe that's the answer. I hate to say this, and I I don't I don't know Michelle why I'm picking up what I'm picking up, but I do not feel. And sometimes this can happen, and I apologize for it. Either I don't I'm not picking up his energy. I don't know why. Some people have their energy very, very protected, but I'm not picking up his energy. And so when I tap into you and I'm asking, you know, tell me about this, it's kind of very vague, very, very vague, but I will give it one more try now that I have his name and see You know what, Michelle? I'm going to say this. I'm not going to answer this on, well, I am. This is what I'm getting. And if I'm wrong, I, I hope I'm wrong. This is what I'm going to say. I hope I'm wrong. Um, maybe the no, because you're asking uh, for my current relationship future. If I ask, do the two of you have a long future? I hear yes. If I ask, is it a healthy, good future? I get a, eh, like a typical relationship on and off or good and bad. I don't know how to describe that. They're not giving me strong. I feel if I had to describe this, they're not giving me strong connection energy so you two may be together and I could be wrong I could be picking up on somebody else's energy and I I apologize if I am so don't don't take this answer too seriously Michelle I feel like the two of you will probably you may stay together for a while but whatever is going on with your connection, whether it's strong or not, whatever, wherever it is, whatever's right now, I feel like that's where it's going to stay. Thank you all for joining me, please. Uh, thank you. Thank you to everybody who has liked and subscribed. And um, until next time, remember, it's your job to create the miracles in your life.